Okay, guys, this is a 07 Ford F-250 with the hard mounts around the back window. We'll show you guys how to do a gapless install. Someone was asking about it. I told them I'd shoot a little video. Lay it over this way so you don't get this fuzz off his back seat. So I, we did pre previously remove the headrest. Now I'm buttoning this all the way up against the uh, center glass. I'm going to let it lay back like that. I'm going to put just a tad more water right there. I'm going to ease this out. By doing it that way, you keep from forcing, by lifting it, pulling the vacuum and pulling trash up under the film or whatever. Uh, I cut these patterns just a little bit big. We'll slide this thing down so we got a little overhang on the bottom. And we're going to get a little bit on the top up here. And I'm going to rock this thing out so the film lays up onto the rubber seal. This corner will butt up and touch completely up here. You'll have extra hanging over here and a couple other spots, but there's a reason for that. I'm gonna hold it to the window. I'm gonna take this tool and I'm gonna tack it down right in the center. I'm gonna push it. If I push it a certain amount to the left, I automatically turn around and push that amount to the right, just in case it moves the film. If I go up two or three strokes, I'll come down a couple. Just sort of rudimentary stuff and it's probably not make a big difference but i'm a creature of habit and once we start doing something a certain way it uh it just tends to always work out better if you continue that route and uh come over lean over this way so they can see this up in here in this area right here so i'm i've got it butted up against that and i'm squeezing this i'm doing it backhanded and left-handed so i'm all backwards from what i'm used to doing but we're gonna bring this down. And we've got that now. In order to get this to fit up top up here, I'm gonna snap this blade off. I'm using a 30 degree carbon blade because I'm not cutting the film on the glass. I'm just trimming it. So come right over here and get, get sort of, come right in here. Right here's what I'm wanting to see. I'm squeezing this down now, right here. The film goes up and this hard part steps down. So what you want to do is you want to take your squeegee, get right here to where that line is at, or the where the edge of the hard plastic stops, and you'll cut the film. That way it allows the film to roll up in to the top part up there. And you don't ever want to push your film straight up and flush trash out where it come down. You want to push it to the side on the edges of these things or anywhere where you got a closed edge window because when you're pressuring that water out it's like a mini jet it squirts it up in there and it flushes anything behind it back out i'm tucking it behind this seal because it has a rubber seal there so that eliminates the risk of the gap over there on the edge Now, up in this corner up here, this is where the, I'm gonna say where the magic happens. So you don't have a gap. And I'm taking this and just slightly working it down through here. And I'm pushing it downward because I want my, my water and everything to run down this corner. And by doing this, I'm folding the edge up onto that hard rubber. And when I fold up on that hard rubber, it'll stay until I trim it because it creases the film. And again, I'm going to use Blue Frog and a 30 degree knife. I'm going to snap one more new blade off on it. And this you may want to get a little closer where they can see it. But you can see right here in this corner where I cut that little slit for this film where the rubber stops right here. All right, I'm going to take this. And the first move I'm going to make, I'm going to hold it up like this. I'm going to complete this cut here back up to that this way it, uh, it lets it go ahead and lay down right there in that corner all right now it's laid down in there i'm going to move this uh blue frog actually i'm going to turn the tip around this way and i'm going to run it about a quarter inch in front of my knife blade all the way down through here and i'm going up here to about a 30 degree angle 
and I'm barely moving it. Don't get too excited and try to cut too much. Just take your time. Go right around that edge. And when you do, you've got that perfect cut laid up in there. Now on this side over here where I've already got it tucked, it's a little easier to do. I like to start down here and go upwards because the seat belt's in the way. And I cut right in the center of that tuck where it's in that groove. That gets it. I'll come down here, start at the very bottom, make that same move all the way up. Just got a little pucker there, we're gonna push it in. Now, this is the sliver of film that we cut off here. We've got one right here that we cut off. Right there. I'm going to make this cut one more time this way. So it finishes that gap off there. And that's in there. Now, this is sort of fun to get to down here at the bottom because you're you're wrangled in there. So I'm going to take my uh, blue frog and I'm going to hold this down here and I'm going to barely flick this edge up like that. So again, I can crease it onto the hard rubber. Now here, in this corner where the silver stops, we have the same issue as we have up here. We've got to cut a slot in it right where that edge stops at. That way that tucks down in there. this blade out just a little bit now I'm gonna cut this just little sections at a time because it's hard to reach it get through them so you don't have all those little tiny bubbles and all that when it's curing out we take the extractor push all this water out there again this is not a fast process but it's a thorough process and we re when we cut these ones we pre-cut them about a eighth inch big so we can do this final trimming on it so once it's done this is what you got same thing over there gopro stop recording